<laughs> right, let's start. We're going to roll the chin down on the chest all the way to the one side and breathing out, taking it all the way to the other, just loosening off the neck, stretching it out. We're going to do a pure Pilates. We're working on quite a lot of arm stuff and then, as always, quite a lot of legs. Last time. Very nice. Let's roll those shoulders. Loosening off from the day's work. That's it. Breathing out. All right. Taking the arms up. Let's breathing in and out. Beautiful, stretch. Let's go for three more. Then we're going to hold the arms up there and go into a side bend. Two, let's hold it there. Take your right wrist, wrap it around your left hand and pull yourself across to the side. Holding it there, stretch the top arm away. And coming up, breathing in, breathing out and change sides. Pull that right arm across. Nice, let's just go for one more each side. Grabbing that left wrist and stretch. Oh, I feel like I could make a big noise doing that. <laughs> I had to stop myself from grunting, <sighs> breathing out. Very nice, all right. From here, we're gonna go down into a little squat and breathing in. So warming up the legs. Send your bum back, breathing in and out. Let's go for five, four, three, two. Nice work. Last one. Good. We're going to go down into our roll down, standing up nice and tall. I want you to think of stretching the back at every level, breathing in. Breathing out, soften the knees, pull that belly button in, chin onto the chest, curling down one vertebra at a time, all the way down. Make sure your head is relaxed and your arms are relaxed and breathing out as you curl up. You want to think of stacking those vertebrae one on top of the other, slide the shoulders down and back, head comes up last. Let's go for two more, breathing in and out. Curling down, really feel that stretch between those spinal segments as you roll down one vertebra at a time. And breathing out as you curling up, tucking that pelvis under. Soften your knees a little bit so that you're not just hinging too much at the hips. And one more, breathing in and out. Curling down, roll those arms, let those arms hang down. Bend the knees slightly. Nice, and breathing out as you curl up all the way. Very nice. All right, we're gonna do a little circuit in a sort of a half squat. So similar to when we send the hips back and we're gonna do the arms. So we're doing arm sections with this, but we're gonna drop down a little bit lower. So we're gonna hold this position, knees hip distance apart, tummy pulled in. We're gonna hold this for 30 seconds, really focusing on pulling those abs in, lifting your chest, squatting down, shoulders down and back. Holding it here, then we're gonna add as we go. I'm gonna move a little bit further forward. Put your weight through the heels. Tummy pulled in, shoulders down and back. We've got 10 seconds more, then we're gonna add snow angels with our arms. Shoulders down, tummy in, lift. Beautiful. Now from here, we're gonna take the arms up and down. Now, as you take those arms up, I want you to think of reciprocally sliding those shoulder blades down and back. Keep in the squat, tummy pulled in. As you take the arms above your head, pull those shoulder blades down and back. Focus on everything, weight through the heels. Pulling that belly button in away from the floor. Lifting your chest, slide those shoulder blades down and back. Let's go for three more. <sighs> Tummy pulled in. Two. Good job. One. 
palms back towards the ceiling, shoulders down and back, let's pulse. <sighs> Breathing out, so still here, weight through the heels. Tummy pulled in, squeeze those shoulders down and back, pulsing those arms from the shoulder blades. Let's go for 10, <sighs> nine, nice work. Eight, seven, <sighs> six, those legs are starting to burn, five, three, two, now hold it here, we're going to do little circles with those arms, I want you to really work from the shoulder blades, so it's not just the arm circling, those shoulders are circling from the blades, three, two, one, change direction, everything is coming from that core in the shoulder blades, tummy pulled in, five, three, two, one, beautiful. Now take your weight onto your right leg. We're gonna tap out, <sighs> breathing in, breathing out. So we are staying nice and low, tummy pulled in. <sighs> Shoulders down for five, four, nice, three, <sighs> two, one. Now hold that leg there, have a little bit of weight on that back leg. Tummy pulled in, hands here. Now we're gonna do like a good morning, Vanessa, you'll know what that is. So from here, we're gonna bend forward and up. Everything here stays dead still. So you just send those hips back, bending forward. <sighs> Shoulders back, tummy in, we're going for 10. Tummy pulled in. You're literally hinging at the hips, so we're working this front glute. Nice, let's go for five. Pull that belly button in, four. Nice work. Three. Two, I don't know about you, my front leg is burning. One. Come and stand up, Whew. shake that out. We're gonna change legs. Very nice. So now we're going to stand on that left leg, go back into that little squat. We're going to step back, breathing in and out, shoulder blades down and back. Let's go for five, four, three, two, one. Now take that weight slightly onto that back leg. Tummy pulled in, we're gonna do our good mornings on this side. So you hinge forward. Be careful not to let those shoulders roll forward. So you're still squeezing those shoulders down and back. And we're just hinging from this bum. Tummy in. This is five. Push through that front heel. Four. Great job. Three. Whew. Two, tummy in, shoulders down. One, stepping back, beautiful. Right, from here we're gonna breathe in, take the arms above your head. And now we're almost gonna do like a dive into a swimming pool. Breathing out, tummy pulled in, rolling down, send those arms as if you're diving into a pool. Hello little kitty cat. And hanging down. Beautiful. So as much as you can, straighten, bend the knees. We're going to bend your left knee and we're going to twist to that left side. Lift your left arm up towards the ceiling. Follow your hand with your head. Take that arm down and now bend your right knee and twist. Beautiful. Let's go one more time. Alternate sides. Very nice. Other side. And from here, soften the knees, curling up one vertebra at a time. All the way. Beautiful. All right, coming into the middle. We're going to stand on your right leg. That same little half squat. We're going to tap that leg out and in. So I'm still in that position. We're going back to that position. Tummy in. Now, as you step out to the side, the temptation for this leg is to roll in. 
You want to really work to keep that knee over the second toe. Tummy pulled in, shoulders down and back. Let's go for 10. 9. 8. Pull the belly button in away from the floor. Shoulders down and back. 5. 4. 3. Perfect. 2. 1. Now hold this here. We're going to lift this leg up and down for 10. So we've got the weight purely on this side. 9. 6. Whew, 5. Four. So I just caught myself doing that. Don't lean over. Three, two, one. Now hold that leg there. Reach this arm over. We're going to lift the knee, take the hand to the knee and back. That's it. Tummy pulled in, breathing out. Watch this leg. For five. Really use those abs. Three, burning here two, one, and shake that leg out. Phew, I am working my legs and my butt. Right, let's go the other side. So we go into that little half squat. Remember sending the hips back, tummy in, shoulders down, tap. Watch this leg. Breathing out, every breath out, scooping those abs more. That's it for five, four, three. Make sure this knee stays there. Two, one. Now hold it there. We're lifting for 10. Try and keep your weight over this leg. Tummy pulled in. Five, four, three, two. Control the lower. One. Reach this arm over, hand to knee. So often we do knee to elbow, but we're now we're straightening this leg out. My balance is terrible. It is amazing to me, having had an injury on the side, how my balance is just shocking. So I've got to really retrain it back. Part of this is doing it. For four more, three, pull that shoulder blade away from the ear one very nice shaking out that leg we're going to do a nice roll down and then walk ourselves out into a high plank taking a nice breath in breathing out as you curl down really relax the arms relax the head take it nice and slowly walk those hands forward coming into that nice high plank shoulders down and back Take it into a downward dog. We're going to go five times forward into that plank. Slide those shoulder blades away from the ears. Back to a downward dog. Breathing in and out. Stretch. Let's go for two more. Nice. Last one. Now hold it here, take those legs a bit wider, hands narrow, and let's go to shoulder taps. <sighs> Breathing out. 10, 9, <sighs> 6, 5, nice work, 4, 3, <sighs> 1, dropping those knees down, take yourself back into a child's pose, have a little stretch. Very nice. Grab some water if you need. We're going to go into a little push-up with a twist. So for the push-up, we can do it on our knees. If you want to do a full push-up, you're welcome to. We're going to go down into a push-up. Lift the knees. Rotate and twist. Coming back. If you want to do a full push-up, you are more than welcome to. I'm going to give myself a little bit of space. But if you're doing it without on your knees, give yourself time to lift the knees into that twist. We're gonna go for 10 alternating sides. Shoulders down and back, squeeze your bottom. Let's go. Nice, beautiful. You can go down, pushing up, 
Perfect job. Tummy pulled in, give yourself time. That's it. Shoulders down and back. Breathing out, keep your body nice and still. Five. Perfect. Four. And twist. Three more, keeping your back nice and solid. Beautiful. One each side. Last one. Twist. And relaxing it down. Very nice, Vanessa. Well done. Looking strong. Nice. From here, take those hands around to the side so you stay in that child's pose. Twist. Push your hands into the floor. Think of dropping this shoulder down to the floor so you're really stretching. And I'll walk those hands to the other side and push. Drop the shoulder down. Very nice, coming to lie on your back. Okay, we're gonna go into a little bit of abs. So from here, we're either gonna go into a crunch or a sit up. Whichever you're doing, knees over, over your hips, tummy pulled in, back glued to the floor. If you're crunching, you're gonna breathe out, crunch. Bring your shoulders to your hips and down. If we're doing a full sit up, hands either here or by your side. Breathing out, rolling up all the way. That's it, and curling down. If you can, with your sit up, have your hands behind your head. What you wanna make sure that you don't move your elbows in or out and you stay holding onto your head. The temptation is to throw your arms forward. You don't wanna do that. Breathing out. We're going for 10 sit-ups. If you're doing crunches, keep crunching while we do the sit-ups. Crunches obviously take a little bit less time, but I want you to really focus. Breathing out, tummy in, bring your shoulders towards your hips. Perfect. We've got five more. Rolling up and curl down through that spine, tummy pulled in all the way. Breathing out. Perfect. Really think of tipping that tailbone, pulling that belly button in all the way. Two more. Good. The one very consistent thing about me is my lack of ability to count when I talk too much. Breathing out. Last one. And let's curling it all the way down. Nice. Now from here, we're going to do something we did in the beginner's class and I really liked it. We're gonna have your hands behind your head, elbows slightly in your periphery off the floor, breathing out and crunching. So we've got your chin on your chest. Now keeping the elbows in the exact same position, I want you to twist so that your arm touches the floor and back to the middle. Stay the same side. So make sure with this that you're not sort of moving the elbows. They literally stay here and you're just rotating. That's it. So we're really working the obliques. Keep your knees over your hips. Don't let them roll. Nice. Let's go for five more. Tummy pulled in. Beautiful. Three. Two. The movement happens purely in the obliques. One. Relax your head down, rest your arms. We're going to go to the other side. I'm going to turn around so I can see you. Right. Feet, hip, knees in same line. Tilt that tailbone, tummy pulled in. Elbows in your periphery, breathing out to lift. Head and shoulders up. Rotate, elbow touch the floor. So you kind of want to get your whole upper arm touching and make sure you don't move your legs. That's it. 
So we're really isolating our obliques here. Slow and controlled. For four more. Three. Two, so close. One. Relax your head down, hands by your side on the floor. Let's lift those legs up into tabletop. Tummy pulled in. Right, from here, we're gonna go into our single leg stretch. You keep your knee over your hip, stretch one leg out, and breathing out as you come back. That's it. Now remember, only lower this leg as much as you can keeping your back glued to the floor. So if you find your back arches, keep your legs a little higher. That's it, tummy pulled in, tuck that tailbone to your nose. Let's go for four more. Three. Two, perfect job. One. Place those feet down on the floor, have the feet nice and wide, and let's just roll those knees side to side, loosening off the back, loosening off the hips. We got one more abs we're gonna do in that position. Beautiful. And then we are gonna add in some hamstrings for me to do my rehab, it's so good for all of us. <laughs> I'm gonna sneak it into every class. Right. Hands above your head on the floor. Lift those legs up into tabletop. From here, we're going to breathe in, breathing out, coming up. If you can, come up all the way. That's it. And if you can, you're going to straighten your legs and then curl down. If you want, you can just crunch. That's it. Otherwise, we're breathing in, breathing out. Stretch and hold, nice, curl it down. We've got five more. I want massive control. Stretch, perfect. If you need to keep your knees bent, that's perfect. You don't have to stretch the knees. So the options are a crunch, breathing out, or coming up all the way with knees bent. That's it, curling down slowly. Let's go for the last one. Full version, breathing out, stretch those legs, pause and hold. That's it, and curling down. Whew, hug those knees into your chest. Very nice. Let's roll up. All right, coming onto your hands and knees. We're gonna go into the hands and knees. You're gonna have your right leg stretched out behind you. Set yourself up so that your shoulders are down and back. Shoulders over hands, tummy pulled in. Knees under hip, stretch that right leg out behind you. Tummy pulled in, we're gonna lift up and down. <sighs> Breathing out, control. Make sure you're not arching the back. <sighs> tummy pulled in. Let's go for 10, 9, 8, very good, 7, every time you lift, breathe out, pull that belly button in, 5, 4, stretch that leg away, 2 more, 1, now hold the leg up, lengthen it away, try and touch the wall behind you, bend the heel to your bottom, and stretch it out, tummy in. You wanna lengthen that leg away from you so it's active the whole time. When you stretch it out, pull that quads up. Heel to your bum, we're working the hamstring. Let's go for five, four, three, shoulders down and back, tummy in, two, one, coming up, let's face me. You're gonna stay with that left knee down, right leg out to the side, dropping that hand down. We're gonna lift this leg up, one, then this leg, knee to knee. Okay, let's go for 10, one. Breathing out, tummy in, this arm can be wherever you need it. 
That's it. Three. Four. Pull that belly button in. Use those inner thighs. Five. Six. Perfect. Seven. Three more. Control. Breathing out. Use your abs. Two. Last one. And dropping down more gracefully than I did. Right, before we go to the other side, I feel you. We're going to go onto our back and do some of the hamstrings. So coming to lie flat. You're going to have your feet quite far away from you. So for normal glute bridge, we have them close, so we target the glutes. We're now going to take the legs further away. So from here, we're going to lift and hold. We're going to hold the hips up for 30 seconds. Tilt that tailbone towards you. Take the feet out as far as you can. And let's go in three, two, one. Now from here, if you pull your feet up towards you, you work your calves a little bit more. If you point your feet, you activate the hammies more. So try and relax your feet as much as possible. Still tilting that tailbone, pulling your belly button in, squeezing from those hammies. 20 seconds, 20 to go, and then we're dropping down. Then we're gonna walk in and out. Pull that belly button in. If you are doing hamstring rehab, for those who are, you would do this five times. I won't make you do that in class. Three, two, one, dropping down. Very nice, hug the knees in, just stretch out the back. Now we're gonna lift up. We're gonna walk the feet out for three steps, in for three steps. They can be as small as steps as you need. We're doing that for five goes. Let's go, breathing out. Lifting up the hips, tilt the tailbone. Let's walk. You want to try and keep those hips level. <sighs> Tummy pulled in. If you feel your back at all, please keep your feet closer to your bottom. Squeeze your tummy, squeeze your bum. <sighs> try and keep those hips level. Push the heel into the floor. <sighs> nice. Tilt that tailbone. Three more. That's it. Whoa, this is hard. Nice. Two. Try and just, I'm trying to use everything else in my body. Let's try and focus on the hammies. Last one. Breathing out. Focus on those hamstrings. And relax it down. Well done. Stretch that one leg up towards the ceiling. Let's straighten up that leg. Point and flex the foot. Just loosen it off a little bit. And then let's change sides. Woo! <sighs> Breathing out. Lovely. Rolling up into sitting. Let's go onto our hands and knees. There we go. All right, so now we're going to do our left leg, stretching it out behind us. Tummy pulled in, hands under your shoulders. Shoulders down and back, stretch that left leg out. Make sure your back doesn't arch, let's lift. Breathing out as you lift. If you have your foot pointed, you've got a little bit more range, otherwise it's quite small. Tummy pulled in, shoulders down and back. Focus on lengthening that leg away from you. For five, four, make sure this kneecap is pulled up strong. Three, two, one. Now hold it there. Bend the heel to your bottom and stretch it out. <sighs> Breathing out, very nice. Tummy pulled in, stretch it away. Lengthen that leg away from you. Tummy in, shoulders down. Let's go for five, four, three. Make sure your back isn't arching. 
two, one, rotating to face me, stay on that right knee, left leg out to the side, hand on the floor, all in one line. We're going to lift this leg, lift the knee, let's go. Nice work. Two, keep those abs engaged, use the abs and the inner thighs. Three, four, five, that's perfect. Six, breathe out, shoulders down. Three more. Two, last one, well done, come into a child's pose, have a little rest, beautiful, all right, coming onto your back again, let's go into a little bit more abs, legs up to the ceiling, now if you can straighten your legs, that's perfect. I'm going to bend mine slightly so I don't put too much tension on the hammy. Tummy pulled in. We're going to do scissors. Breathing in, breathing out. Straighten your legs if you can. If you need them a little bit bent, please do. As you lower this leg, make sure your pelvis doesn't arch. You want to keep it pulled in. <sighs> breathing in and out. Let's go for four more. Three, two, one, hugging them into your chest. Very nice. Now from here, part of our mobility as well, take your knees and stretch them open. So you're kind of in a, uh, what's that, happy baby but without the feet up. Nice, now from here, we're gonna stretch those legs up and bend for 10. If you need to support your legs, you can, or you can just relax the arms, bend and straighten, feeling a big stretch on those inner thighs. I know it can be a tall order to straighten the knees, you wanna try. Three more. Two, last one, and staying on your back, arms up to the ceiling, legs in tabletop, let's go into our dead bug, knees over hips, arms up, we're going to breathe in, stretch your opposite arm and leg away, breathing out to come back to the middle, make sure your tailbone stays tilted to your nose, breathing in, Nice, really keep that belly button pulled in nice and tight, perfect. Make sure those knees are bent to 90 degrees. Tummy pulled in, four, five. Four, nice work. Three. Two. One. Relax those feet down. Whew. Very nice. All right. One more abs, then we're going to have a nice stretch. So from here, we're going to do one minute. Legs up to the ceiling, a minute of bicycles. Now remember with this, you can, if you want to, place your hands slightly under your bum, otherwise under your head. And I want you to each circle, each revolution, you want to go into that single leg stretch. So don't just want this up here. We want to stretch it out. Let's go in three, two, one. <sighs> Breathing out. Now, as you do this, because we've got time, really focus on tilting the tip of that sacrum, the coccyx, to your nose. Pulling your belly button in. <sighs> Tuck your chin in. And think of trying to flatten those ribs. And you want to go through that single leg stretch. If I had to take a picture, that's perfect. <sighs> Breathing out. 30 seconds to go. Tummy pulled in, stretching those legs away. That's it, beautiful. 
15 seconds to go. You should really feel these lower abs working with this. Five, three, two, one, and relax it down. Well done. Right, let's go into our happy baby. Feet up to the ceiling, grab the inside of those legs. Gently push those knees down towards the floor. <sighs> Rock side to side, that's perfect. Right, from here, stretch your right leg down along the floor. Slide that heel along the floor. Stretch it out as much as you can. Let gravity do its work. Take the arm out to the side. Your right arm with the right leg down. Beautiful. Now from here, let that left foot go. Tuck the knee into your chest. Swap hands. Take that right arm and pull that left knee all the way down. And twist. Beautiful. You want to aim to get the knee down onto the floor and shoulders down on the floor, breathing out. Really don't fight that stretch. Use your breath. You want to think of relaxing into the stretch. Bringing those knees back into the middle. Legs up, happy baby. Gently push those knees down towards the floor. Now we're going to stretch that left leg down, heel along the floor, all the way out. Keep those hips facing the ceiling. Try not to let yourself kind of roll towards that foot. Tuck that right foot in. Take the knee. We're going to pull it across all the way, stretching out that low back. Have your right arm out to the side. Try and get that knee down towards the floor, stretching that hand away. Beautiful. And if you can get those shoulders flat, sometimes you can do a little wriggle to kind of move it. Nice. Bring those feet and knees back into the middle, coming onto your side. Have those hands in front of you. We're now going to rotate your thoracic spine. So knees in front, almost like you're sitting on a chair. And we're going to open those arms up to the ceiling and coming back. Breathing out. That's it. Stretch. You want to try and get those shoulders down, but don't let this top leg slide back. You want to almost think of pushing this hip forward. We're going to go for five. We got two more. Nice. Last one. Very good. Let's come up and let's go to the other side. So lying on your, I'm now on my left side. Make sure you've got your knees in front of your hips, feet. So it's like you're sitting on a chair, hands in front of you. Keep those hips together, knees together, and opening up those arms. I find I might like hold my leg actually to kind of keep them there. That's it, you can almost like push that leg forward. Breathing out, opening up. Push this top hip forward. Nice, three more. That's it. Breathing out, use that breath to get a little bit more range. Last one. Awesome job. And coming up into sitting. Shoo! Thank you so much. That was amazing. Vanessa, you're a star. Thank you so much for joining.